Um, yeah, so my last fat loss cycle was a year ago. Um, it ended, I think it was right at the end of October. Um, and uh, that yielded some pretty impressive results for me. It was easily the leanest I've ever been. Um, and uh, I guess if I had squeezed out a little bit more, I could have been, you know, stage ready, which is not anything that I, that I do, but it was a really cool achievement. Um, since then though, I've sort of thought, is that even worth it to do again? Would I want to do that again? Um, and I, I, I still don't know the answer to that, to be honest with you. Um, I sh struggle a little bit day over day, uh, depending on the day, depending on the week, if, you know, I'd like to be that lean again. Cause you know, once you see it, once, once you've achieved that goal, it's kind of hard to walk away from it. Um, but the sacrifices, that were needed to get there might not be something that I want to do too regularly. Um, I do have a plan to do fat loss next year, maybe early March, uh, just again, preparing for summer, being in a swimsuit. Um, and I am not looking forward to it at all. <laughs> I think that most people don't know what it's like to feel fueled. I don't think that they know how liberating it is to eat 2,600 calories, go to the gym at 100% and just crush it like every single day. Um, I th the, 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 the term um, that I think of when you said that is that the juice just isn't worth the squeeze, right? And can you give people now... I just want to qualify this to all the people listening to this. This is not you. This is not your situation. This is not what your comfort level is. But can you explain to people the weight fluctuation in that time, right? And then I can maybe talk and kind of piece it together. Um, just the level of commitment to be the level of lean, you know, all the time that I think if people were honest with themselves, they would go, I would rather just, I mean, like, like right now, you know, I, people can probably see you on video, right? You're, you're lean now, right? right. So, so talk a little bit about, about, um, about that, right? Okay. So um, I finished uh, fat loss last year. Um, and then of course, as we went through AP, I lost a little bit more as we were coming out and the lowest I got was 138 pounds, which is really, really low for me. I'm five, seven. Uh, I was at 15% body fat. Um, and it was, uh, you know, I was taking pictures in the mirror of my obliques and it was just like, this is insane how lean I am. Uh, I currently am 157 pounds or 147 pounds. I'm sorry. So that's nine, nine pounds difference. Um, I am hoping that I'm adding muscle. Uh, I will take some tests later on just to see if I, you know, can solidify what I believe to be happening because my strength has increased. Um, my size is not all that different, which is interesting. Uh, I mean, I can see where some of it's going, obviously, you know, when you get that lean, 15% and now I'm probably sitting at about 18%, which is still very lean. Uh, you know, it has to fill in in some places. So I can see where some of it's not muscle, but I am definitely so much bigger in my upper body. Um, so yeah, about nine pounds from last year. So if you did the math, right, this is actually interesting. I don't think most people think of this, right? Is that the difference between 15 and 18% so if she's 147, every pound of fat, right, um, would be 1.47 pounds, right? And so basically, what are we looking at? You know, about four and a half pounds, which means that you possibly have gained four to five pounds of muscle over that course of that year. That's totally reasonable, right? What I think happens for, for people especially really lean people is they want to get back to 138. And the problem is, is that the new number is 143, right? right? And so we don't know exactly how much, but, but if we said at least four pounds, that would put you at 142 for muscle. 
And then if you're trying to get back to 130, 38, now the level of sacrifice, you know, you have to extend the dieting cycle. You have to, you know, like I have a client right now who's also really lean and, um, you know, there's not a lot of weight loss at those end at the end of cycles, but, but the, there's definitely a lot of recomposition that happens. And then, you know, if you don't have the right mindset, if you're not of the mindset of life is more important than lean, then it can really mess you up mentally.